ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் வே டு சக்ஸஸ் இந்த வீடியோவில் பிஜிடிஆர்பி சுவாலஜி யூனிட் ஒன் பிளாஸ்மோடியமுக்கான ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் பார்க்கலாம் கிளாஸிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் பிளாஸ்மோடியம் ஃபைலம் ப்ரோட்டோசோவா கிளாஸ் ஸ்போரோசோவா சப் கிளாஸ் ஹீலோஸ்போரிடியா ஆர்டர் ஹீமோஸ்போரிடியா சப் ஆர்டர் பிளாஸ்மோட்ரோமா பிளாஸ்மோடியம் இஸ் அன் யூனிசெல்லுலார் and the smallest protozoan it is an endoparasite living in the blood of man it is cosmopolitan in distribution it causes the disease called malaria discovered by charles leveran in 1880 plasmodium is a digenic parasite because it completes its life cycle in two host man and the female anopheles mosquito man is the intermediate host and the mosquito is the primary host or definite host more than 70 species of malarial parasites are known to infect human rodents monkey reptiles and birds four species of malarial plasmodium which host man are plasmodium vivax plasmodium malariae plasmodium ovale and plasmodium falciparum golgi observed stages of plasmodium malariae in human rbcs transmission of malaria takes place by mosquitoes was first discovered by sir ronald ras the relationship between plasmodium and female anopheles mosquito was described by grassi the infective stage of plasmodium for human is sporozoites the infective stage of plasmodium for mosquito is gametocytes in the intermediate host that is in man the liver stage is 6 to 14 days blood stage 48 to 72 hours incubation period 21 days sexual cycle of plasmodium takes place in female anopheles mosquito whereas asexual cycle of plasmodium takes place in liver and rbc of man this is the diagram of plasmodium in the cell organelles like nucleus golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum mitochondrion trope trice are found in the cytoplasm the microtubules are also found over here the apical cap is found at the anterior end of the plasmodium species of plasmodium plasmodium vivax commonly found in india and africa softness granules found types of malaria benin turtle malaria vivax malaria incubation period 14 days plasmodium malariae commonly found in tropical africa burma sri lanka granules found zeman's dot types of malaria quartan malaria incubation period 18 to 24 days plasmodium ovale found in tropical africa granules found shafner's granule types of malaria benin turtle malaria incubation period 14 days plasmodium falciparum commonly found in africa india granules found mara's dart types of malaria pernicious malaria malignant turtle malaria otherwise called black water fever incubation period 12 days this diagram shows the life cycle of plasmodium life cycle of plasmodium it occurs in two host life cycle in man otherwise called cycle of golgi life cycle in mosquito otherwise called cycle of ras life cycle in man it occurs in three stages first one pre erythrocytic cycle in liver second one exoerythrocytic cycle in liver third one endoerythrocytic cycle in rbc pre erythrocytic cycle when mosquito bites it introduces the plasmodium parasite into the blood of man sporozoid contain large nucleus it swims in the blood for about 30 minutes and it enters into the liver inside the liver cells it feeds and grows and becomes spherical in shape called cryptozoont then it undergoes asexual reproduction called zygogony that is multiple fission 
Now the nucleus of cryptozoan divides into thousand daughter nuclei. The resulting daughter cells are called cryptomerozoites. Exoerythrocytic cycle. The cryptomerozoites enter into fresh liver cells. Here they grow, increase in size, and become spherical in shape. This stage is called metacryptozoan. It undergoes cytogony, resulting in thousands of daughter cells called metacryptomerozoites. These two cycles are completed within eight days. Then it enter into the blood. Until this, there is no symptoms of malaria. Erythrocytic cycle or endoerythrocytic cycle. This cycle occurs within the RBC. The metacryptomerozoite enter into the RBC and becomes rounded. This stage is called trophozoite. A vacuole inside the cytoplasm increases its volume. As it increases in size, the nucleus is pushed towards one side. At this stage, the parasites appears like a ring. This stage is called a signet ring stage. Then the vacuole disappears and many pseudopodia formed. This stage is called a amoeboid stage. It feeds on the content of RBC and breaks the hemoglobin into heme and globin. Globin is used as food by the parasite and the heme is converted into a toxic pigment called hemozoin. Then the parasites become rounded and the pseudopodia disappear. This stage of parasite is called zizan. Then the zizan undergoes cytogony. The nucleus divides into 12 to 24 daughter nuclei. The cytoplasm with the nucleus develops into the next stage of the parasite called merozoites. The merozoites are arranged more or less like the petals in a rose flower. Hence, this stage is called a rosette. The erythrocytic cycle takes 48 hours for completion. After several generations, the merozoites entering the RBC increase in size and become rounded. They are now called gametocytes. Some gametocytes are smaller in size and their nuclei are larger in size. They are called male or microgametocytes. Others are large in size but with smaller nuclei. These gametocytes are called female or megagametocytes. This representation shows the different stages of plasmodium in the RBC. Metacryptomerozoites enter into the RBC and formed into trophozoites. Next, signet ring stage. Next, amoeboid stage. Zizont. Cytogony occur. Resulting merozoites formed. Merozoites developed into gametocytes, microgametocyte and megagametocyte. Life cycle in mosquito. When a female anopheles mosquito sucks the blood of man, the gametocytes enter the gut. The megagametocyte is reorganized and becomes a female gamete or megagamete. In microgametocytes, the nucleus divides into 6 to 8 daughter nuclei. The daughter nuclei are arranged in the periphery of the gametocytes. The cytoplasm grows out into 6 to 8 long thin flagella like structures. Each nucleus moves into a flagellum like structures. Each flagellum like structure is now called a microgamete. The formation of microgametes from microgametocyte is called exflagellation. The megagametocyte gives out a small cytoplasmic projection called fertilization cone. Now the two gametes fuse together. This is called fertilization. The resulting structure is called zygote or syncarion. Soon the zygote becomes elongated and spindle shaped. At this stage the parasite is called an ookinate. The parasite penetrates the wall of gut. Here it becomes spherical and secretes a cyst wall around it. Now it is called a oocyst. The oocyst now undergoes a special kind of sexual reproduction called sporogony. 
during sporogony the nucleus of host divides into about thousands of daughter nuclei each nucleus becomes encircled by a piece of cytoplasm the resulting individuals are called sporozoites then they enter the salivary gland when mosquito bites a man it introduces a small amount of saliva to prevent the coagulation of blood along with the saliva the sporozoites are also introduced into the blood of man and the cycle is repeated this picture shows the life cycle of plasmodium in mosquito symptoms of malaria muscular pain and ache in joints shaking chillness rise in body temperature as high as 106 degree fahrenheit at an interval of 48 hours sweating control and prevention of malaria chemical method ddt malathion biological method wearing the enemies of mosquito like fishes gambusia labustas dragonflies etc using mosquito nets treatment quinine paraffin chloroquine paladrin plasmoquine etc thank you for watching this video